It's Ralston Live. Uh, the other issue I want to talk to you about, and you've talked about this before, you talked about it in your last uh, campaign, uh, is, is Obamacare. Uh, uh, the House has voted innumerable times, as you know, the House where you want to go, That's has voted right. innumerable times, four dozen times or so, to, to repeal Obamacare. Would you have voted to repeal Obamacare? You know, I would have, John. And because I did read the bill, and I understand that the bill was really not about health care, it was about health insurance, a health insurance card. There were so many things that Obamacare never addressed, and we've seen those. We've seen those over the past five years. We've seen them explode as problems that this administration has not dealt with. Well, but insurance is important, right? You're a doctor. Uh, there's a lot of uninsured folks, not, not just in this country, but in Nevada. Are you saying that that's not a noble goal to try to get universal health insurance? Or that, uh, uh, or that it's something that should not have been addressed in the way that it was? You know, a noble goal would be to encourage everyone to have some kind of way to pay for their health care. But not Whether everyone that has that insurance. money. No, not everyone does, but there are so many other ways. There are foundations that could, that could do this. There are different kinds of insurance plans that could do this. I'm for freedom of choice. I'm for allowing people the opportunity to access health care. Obamacare never did that. Obamacare handed us over to an insurance company and said, this is the only way that you can pay for your insurance. So you're, 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 what, do you, what do you support, single payer? <laughs> no, I didn't say that I supported things. But I mean, private insurer, health insurance, that's... that's how this country is run, is it not? That's, that's the system that exists. Yes, but this is not private health care insurance. Sure this is. is an insurance plan that is dictated by. Oh, that's the part you don't like. Yes, because insurance is great, but we don't ask you, John, to go out and get insurance for a Maserati if that's not what you have. How do you know I don't drive a Maserati? <laughs> I uh, said what, if that's not what you but, 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 but now you're putting words but, serious, but seriously, I, I, I guess what I'm wondering is, do you think that, for instance, Governor Sandoval uh, should have expanded Medicaid to accommodate people who needed that care? Or should he not have done that? A lot of governors did not. No. I, and the reason that I don't is because Medicaid was broken before he expanded it. And that's what I would have wanted to solve first. There are a lot of Medicaid patients that are actually being hurt by the fact that this was expanded. And how, how are they being hurt? Oh, because let's say that you have physicians and they have X amount of slots that are available. Because Medicaid does not pay. It, it really doesn't reimburse the doctor for all of the services. And therefore, they have a small allotment of area where they can take care of X amount of patients. If you have really sick patients like we used to have, if you have children, if you have women that are pregnant, then those people would have priority because that's how we did our Medicaid before. Now you have other people accessing. So the appointments for the really sick people, the really needy people, are put farther and farther away from each well, other. We are out of time. I know you're willing to come back oh, for a debate wow. right here on this program. Absolutely. And, I, and I hope you will. Thanks for coming on, uh, Dr. Tejero. Good luck in the campaign. And you know, I encourage your listeners to please go to AnnetteForCongress.com. Oh my goodness, you're going to put up an 800 Absolutely. number too? No, Thanks no. for coming on the program. <laughs> on the next Ralston Live, she's Senator Harry Reid's hand-picked success. Professor.